ओम दक्षिणा से समारंभ शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यंता मरिया गुरु परंपरा श्रुति स्मृति पुराणा
pena. Ay. Oh. Hazme power y enida. Power y enida.
दक्षिणामूर्त नम परिज्ञानाश्रम श्री गुरु शंकर परिज्ञानाश्रम शंकर सद्गुरु केशव वामन कृष्ण पांडुरंग आनंद परिज्ञान गुरु सद्यो जात शंकर सद्गुरु गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओं सहनावतु सह नुनक्त सह वीरकरवाह तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु मिद्विषावह ओं शाति 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 ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम श्री भवानी शंकराय नम श्री मात्रे नम जी क्या वेल जाने खातीर आपका क्षम कर का इलेक्ट्रिसिटी डिस्टर्बन्सीस प्रोग्राम सुर करूँ जाए नी तुमक सर्वक आजी आमगे सायुज्य टीमा वती सक वेलकम करता ती स्वागत करता ती आज दोनों आमगेल हो परमपूज्य परिज्ञान आश्रम स्वामी हम गेला अमृतोत्सव जन्मदिन दिन अमृतोत्सव साजर करते सत पांच दिस कार्यक्रम आयोजित केला आज दोन सुर जता आत फस्ट कार्यक्रम गुरु गुरुदृष्टि हाँ एक प्रेजेंटेशन आत नागरकटी निरंजन माम करतलो अशी जी कार्यक्रम आस ती हाज नर आने एक प्रेजेंटेशन आसा मगर ती धानपार सांजाई कार्यक्रम आस ती प्रतिदिवस अभी कार्यक्रम आसतला तुम्हें सर्वानी हाँ तू हंगा कार्ल यू कि तुम्हें धूर ऑनलाइन पढ़ते आशिन सर्वानी कार्यक्रम तू सहभाग घल कार्यक्रम तुमका ऑनलाइन सग मेस्त मेलनस फाव सी आपगे अनुश्रव आसा मध्यम तवी हा कार्यक्रम तू सहभाग घी एक प्रयत्न के परिज्ञान आश्रम स्वामी हम गली महिमा महिमा ची वर्णन कर कैपेबिलिटी ना जो एक प्रयत्न करते सत परिज्ञान आश्रम स्वामी हम गेल जै तंगल का तीन विंगविंगड़ कार्यक्रम उब्र कार कार्यक्रम विषय तू ची है सगल कार्यक्रम प्रोग्राम्स आयोजित के गुरुदृष्टि निरंजन माम धन्यवाद चैतन माम ओम श्री गुरुभ्यो नम श्री भवानी शंकराय नम श्री मात्रे नम जय शंकर टू ऑल ऑफ यू अ कपल ऑफ डेज अगो वेन डॉक्टर चैतन गुलवाड़ी माम रैंग मी अप एंड आस्क मी इफ आई कुड डू अ प्रेजेंटेशन एट कार्ला ऑन गुरु प्रसाद हाई स्कूल मल्लापुर माय फर्स्ट रिएक्शन वाज व्हाई दिस टॉपिक ड्यूरिंग अमृतोत्सव a cursory research revealed the deep connection between the school and his holiness guru swami about which i'll be talking today next before we start the uh, actual presentation on the school a little about uh, mallapur Malapur is a very small hamlet in Honnavar Taluka of Uttar Kannada district with a population of less than 500 even today Malapur does not qualify even to have a polling booth for elections so the residents have to go all the way to Chandavar for casting their votes Malapur deserves um, derives its name from the Mallinateshwar linga which is present in the mahaganpati temple on the left hand side as you enter the town it's a very holy place with three other temples in close vicinity bang opposite is shri gopal krishna temple also known as avdi math which belongs to the ubaikar family about 100 meters down the road is shri durga datta mandir which belongs to the nagarkatti family 
and another 100 meters down the road is our Shri Guru Math, where is wherein is located the Samadhi of Param Puja Shankarashram Swamiji Dvitiya. For a long time, Malapur did not have a high school. So after the seventh standard, the children had to walk almost 10 kilometers to Kumta, far away, on foot, traversing that distance through thick forest, up and down, morning going, evening coming. Next. Now comes the connection with Guru Swamiji. When Parindyanashram Swamiji was still a Shishas, uh, Shish Swami, they had camped in Malapur for almost two months. And during that time, they saw for themselves the trials and tribulations of the children going for high school education all the way to Kumta. Visionary that Swamiji was even at that such a tender age and his uh, strong conviction that education for the downtrodden and the uh, economically weaker uh, sections of society, Swamiji readily agreed to the plea of the locals to start a school, a high school in Malapur. Its advantage was that it, it was equidistant from all the four surrounding villages from where the children used to go to Kumta. When Swamiji ascended the Pitha, he called the residents of Malapur to Shirali one day and blessed them with an initial donation of 3,000 rupees, a princely sum in those days, in 1966-67, you can imagine what the value will be today. Hochi Gurung El Prasad Zalo Ani Tiamiti the school anka Guru Prasad High School and now Dilla. Swamiji uh, advised the uh, uh, residents to immediately form a society so that funds could be garnered for. Uh, building the, I mean, for the running of the school from generous donors. And thus was born the Guru Prasad Education Society, which was registered in 1967 under the presidentship of Sri Sadashiv Rao Masurkar, who was an eminent social worker of that time. The school actually started on 1st of June 1968 with 44 the maiden batch consisted of only 44 students. They had no building, but the management of Sri Gopal Krishna Temple, the Ubaikar family, they were generous enough to offer their adjacent building to run the school rent free for a couple of years. The school started getting government aid only three years later in March 1971 when the government started paying for the salaries of six staff members. It is still an aided institution even today. Next. In 1977, the Karnataka government granted five acres of forest land to the society and it was just thick forest land so the locals, with the help of labor, they did shramadan for a couple of days and leveled the ground, got rid of the uh, thick bushes, thorny bushes, uh, big trees, weeds, leveled the ground and prepared for the construction of the school, new building, which ultimately came up in 1980. It took some time because uh, Funds naturally required money for this construction. And for that, they had organized some local programs, Yakshagana programs in local surrounding villages and towns. And also 
a series of uh, Marathi dramas were organized in Mumbai under the stewardship of Kagal Mirapachi. And the funds were generated for the construction of the school, which was completed in 1980. So the structure which you see in the center, that is the school which was constructed in 1980. The other two uh, structures I will be discussing later. But initially, only the first, the one in the center behind the trees, that is the school which came up in 1980. Next. As I told you, it is an aided institution. The salaries of teachers is still being paid by the government. However, all administrative and capital expenses are to be borne by the society. In 2002, there was a change in the government policy. And this change was that the government suddenly decided that the managements of private schools could not appoint new recruits in place of Vacancy, uh, to fill up vacancies caused by retirements. So this put a financial burden on the society. After some deliberations, the um, residents, the society members, they passed a resolution that they should seek help from Sri Chitrapur Mat. They called on Parampuja Swamiji and explained their predicament. Swamiji graciously agreed to bring the management of the school under the purview of Sri Chitrapur Mat. And that is how a new managing committee consisting of 13 members was constituted. Nine of the members are nominated by Swamiji and four are locally elected. The tenure of the managing, managing, management committee is three years. And the funds are being rooted through Shri, uh, Shri Valli Trust. Next. The present managing committee, the names are here. Narayan Mallapur Maam is the president. Arun Uvaikar Maam is the vice president. Arun Natkarni Maam, Harin Hatangadi Maam, Guru Nandan Bhaindur Maam, Nandan Balwali Maam, Praveen Basroor Maam, Kishore Kumle Maam, and Prakash Hatangdi Maam. These are the nine nominated by Parampuja Swamiji. And the locally elected members are Ramaya Naik, G.U. Naik, G.I. Hegde, and Professor Prakash Pandit. Next. Now, what are the facilities which are available for the students? There are no tuition fees. Education is free. There are free midday meals and free textbooks. The midday meals and textbooks are funded by the government. The uniforms are supplied by the society, by the management of Guru Prasad Education Society. So this is the running, for the running expenses, they are met in this fashion. They are the children, they are for the benefit of the children and the staff, they also organize periodical medical camps by Rotary Club of Kumta and government doctors, dental, ENT, eyes, anemia, personal hygiene, all these various camps have periodically conducted in the school. In July 2019, a special wellness clinic by NRI doctors and volunteers was organized. Doctors had come from abroad and it was a, I think, three, four days uh, camp. This was for the benefit of the school children. Next. So this is the uniform. Next. So, uh, since I told you uh, school began in 1968, so it completed 50 years in 2018. However, the Golden Jubilee celebrations were held only in February 2020. The reason for that was, 
uh, a collection of funds for organizing the program and they had already planned to have a new library, a new laboratory, a new computer room and a multi-purpose hall. So collection of funds for all these, I'll be coming to that later, but uh, it took some time and the actual construction also took more time than expected and that is the reason the uh, celebrations were actually held on 15th of February 2020, just before COVID struck us. On that occasion, Swamiji uh, graced that occasion. I am told he was present for the whole day there. When many past and present, uh, when past and present staff members were felicitated, past students were felicitated. Many of them are at, on high positions now. Uh, it's a matter of pride that one of the past students, Dr. M. K. Nayak, is today the Vice Chancellor of Agriculture University, Shivamogga. So he was also present. And then, the, of course, there were some cultural programs by the students. In uh, Swamiji's Ashirvachan on that day, Swamiji repeatedly brought out how it was Guru Swamiji's Anugraha, Anumodana and Sankalpa that the school was set up and how it has progressed over the years to become a model institution of education in Uttar Kannada district, a subject which was so close to Guru Swamiji's heart. Next. The school participates in all the competitions held in at the uh, Taluka level, Honnavar Taluka level, district level, the state level, and these are some of the trophies and awards which have been won by the students in art, science, drawing, uh, athletics, all the competitions. Like the children in Shrivali school and other schools, these children also win, bring laurels to their institution. Next, they have a music teacher and a school band, which is uh, probably during their march past and the uh, daily uh, physical exercises, they use it. And also to welcome dignitaries, the school band is uh, used. Next. Huh. I had mentioned earlier that uh, this, they had planned to construct a library, a laboratory, a computer room, and of course the related furniture and equipment. Uh, the cost was around 31.60 lakhs. They converted the old laboratory into a kitchen. Now kitchen was mandatory as per the government rules, and the, the midday meals are cooked here only. They had to have a separate uh, washing areas for hands and the vessels. All this was done as per the uh, local regulations in force. And uh, the main attraction was the construction of a multi-purpose hall aptly named Parinyanashram Sabhagraha. That was at a cost of 64 lakhs. Now, this was largely funded by the Devgi family of uh, Pune. And uh, some other donors, earlier also there were donors, SBI Life Insurance through uh, Anand Pejawar Maam, Menda Foundation, Bangalore. The don donors are numerous to name in such a short time. Uh, can you go back to slide uh, number four? Huh. Uh, this is the, on the left hand side you see the building that, that today houses the library and the computer room and uh, the laboratory. The one on the right hand side is the Paridna National Sabhagruha. It's a hall, huge hall, which can be used for the school programs. The one in the center, of course, is the old school. Next. So this is the inside of the library. 
well equipped drive library this is the laboratory next this is the new computer room and this is the parinirvana ashram sabhagriha which is a multi purpose hall next now this is a picture of a typical classroom and the school enjoys a huge playground which can be held which they use for their uh, annual functions or march past or exercises or sports events they are blessed with a huge playground next uh, this is uh, param puja swami ji's visit to the school on 15th of february 2020 when swami ji inaugurated all those new facilities there swami ji is some exhibition of paintings which the students had made drawn drawings next donations to guru prasad education society any institution requires funds for uh, expansion as well as uh, recurring expenses running expenses uh, deduction under section 80g of the in income tax act is available for donations to ges the funds are used for equipment books uniforms and if the donation is 50000 and above it will, it goes towards the corpus and those interested should contact the donor facilitation cell at the address given scm.donor.cell@gmail.com so such uh, uh, donations i mean such concessions are also available deductions are also available for other in educational institutions uh, being run by the mat next uh for preparing this uh, presentation Uh, i sought help of shri narayan mallapur mam general manager scm shirali uh, shri arun ubhaykar mam mallapur and shrimati lakshmi rao of dfc bengaluru all these three readily gave me whatever information i wanted so that i could complete my presentation Uh, before i conclude i would like to list out the names of the educational institutions being run by the mat which are named after param pooja paridnana ashram swami ji first and foremost is the school for the education and vocational uh, center for the handicapped in virar which comes under shri trust about which th there will be a presentation following my presentation then paridnyan pu college and paridnyan Vid vidyalay at kotekar near mangalore this comes under saraswat education society and paridnyan ashram vidyalay here in karla barely 100 meters from where i am standing now which comes under karla education trust i shall be eternally grateful to param pooja swami ji for blessing me with an opportunity to do this presentation on this occasion of amrit utsav and i humbly offer it at his lotus feet i also thank dr chetan gulwadi mam and his entire sayujyam team for choosing me to do do this pre uh, ppt presentation not only choosing me but also sending me in as the opening batsman for the amrit utsav program thank you J jai shankar thank you all for your patient hearing thank you niranjan ma'am uh, for that wonderful presentation of the about the school in malapur Uh, i now invite uh, kalyanpur vinay ma'am uh, to talk about the sp e sp vec uh, school in virar
Over to you, Vinayma. Guru Bhionamaha, Sri Bhavani Shankarayanama, Sri Matrayanama, Saglankai Jai Shankar, Saglankai Namaskar Konu, I chair Swami Parignana Ashram Educational and Vocational Center for the Handicap. Hai school, Kashi Surdale, Ani Hajje, Main Swamangel Icha, Parignana Ashram Swamiji, third. Tangel hai Icha Shile, Ki hai Swamang hai. सर्व हंतु स्पेशल चिल्ड्रन मोन होंगे ताती मलारी तंका तंतु मस्त प्रकार रसती अम्म गले यूनिक फीचर ऑफ स्कूल इस दैट अम्म गले विजन अन्य अत है पढ़ा यहाँ नेक्स्ट लाइन टू सी एबिलिटी इन डिसेबिलिटी मलारी है दावा ने सगलं के के एबिलिटी दिले लस ते एबिलिटी कल ले मुन सुध दुन काट चे ची है टीचर संगले अनि जानंगे ले को कल तंगे ले कश्ती तनी तंगे एबिलिटी तंतु अस्ता ची प्रत्येक लंगे लंत अतम का पढ़ों चा गलेरी एक ला बॉटना ते बॉटना ती ले के एबिलिटी दिले लस ते हम सुध दुन कानु ताका कंजनाइटल डिफॉर्मिटी मंडला थी तंका हमसे पाद मंडला थी पूरे बॉट पाये वेब्ड हैंड एंड वेब्ड फीट मुनास्ता तो तस्ल चेंडवांग सुधे एक एबिलिटी दिले लसा तेज सो दुन कारणु है स्कूल है के ले लसा अनि है मिशन हम गए ले मोटो कल मलारी प्रेम श्रद्धा सहनशीलता मलारी सगड़े लव डेडिकेशन एंड परसिस्टेंट तंगे ले हक जिकते रे वेल डेवलपमेंट ऑल राउंड डेवलपमेंट अनि तंक मुख का रहड़ का हैं परिक्षण नशम स्वामी 1981 नाम तो स्ट्रीट ट्रस्ट स्टार्ट के लिए वन ऑफ़ द ऑब्जेक्टिव्स वाज़ तू स्टार्ट है स्कूल फॉर डिसेबल्स तां तो अम्म के लिए यूनिक फीचर ऑफ़ फर्स्ट स्कूल इस डेट वी केटर तू ऑल टाइप ऑफ़ डिसेबल्स वी वर हैविंग विजुअल इम्पैर्ड कुछ ही हार्ड काम ले लाए अतः तुम्हें सगलांके गोत्र से कि एक स्कूल सूर कोर का दला रही कितने टाइम लगता बिल्डिंग लगता जान लगता थी है पूरा ऐस्तल है तेरे है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ वेलफेयर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया का नेक्स्ट स्लाइड नेक्स्ट पंद्र दिवसा बितरी स्कूल एग्जाम का चले कुछ ही मनारी पायलट ते स्टार्ट कोर का कोई रूरल हैं तो रूरल मलारी वीर आर रूरल है चिला आज तो सही में और बंद आ लिया तेरी ताऊली 15 डेज हैं तो स्टार्ट कोर का मलारी डॉक्टर मोहन मंग मंकी कर्मा मो ते पायलट प्रोजेक्ट कमिटी इंतज़ार चिलो ताऊले एमसी नर्सी मन सेक्रेटरी यानी एके मुखर्जी मुनु डायरेक्टर ऑफ ऑल स्टार्ट कोरिया मस्त एन नंबर्स ऑफ हैंडीकैप आशील है, सो तांग का कले पुणे कोर काम हूँ, तावल तानी सांगले कि फ्रॉम 40 कंट्रीज आम गले स्कूल आको इनोग्रेशन आको आई ले, मतलब गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने बॉम्बे इन तो एक कॉन्फ्रेंस दो वाले ले, तावल तानी एवं चशील फ्रॉम 40 कंट्रीज, तावल तंका आईडेंटिफाई को नो एड्स एंड एप्लाइंसेस दिन चाहिए मुन तर तितल पूरे करता ना एकला कला दिसला कि अरे इतल पूरे करता से दिते व्हाई नॉट वी गिव एजुकेशन अने वोकेशन मु तावली तंका तस्माना पुड़ा है पंद्र दिवसां तो कशी है कोरे द तावली डॉक्टर मामा मना ले तू को रुक साधे स्वयं � आव तज पर फूड है 1984 आंतु गोल्ड सिल इंजीनियरिंग में आव तन दूसरे तो काम आ चिलो अनि है 1985 अक्टूबर 31 तक कश तुम संगता मुकंक रोती वाचालम पंगुम लंगे ते इगरीम है एग्जाम्पल बदची 
कला म्हण हे स्वामी जी ने स्टार्ट कर ना पुढे इत जणांक उपयोग झाला की हंगा नाईन्टीन एटी फाय ऑक्टोबरान तू पंधरा दिवसांत स्कूल कशी सुर करचे तावळी मोहन मामाने वचून एकलो भाऊसाहेब वर्तक म्हणून वसय तू तो मिनिस्टर असेल रेव्हेन्यू मिनिस्टर महाराष्ट्राचं ताक वचून निम गेले बेगर सो म्हण थंय टू बॅरॅक्स आशिले त्या बॅरॅक्स त्याने आमकां पंधरा दिवसांत वायट फॉशन कोण दिले आणि थंय स्टार्ट केले बाकीचे गवर्मेंट तुमगेल गोतूस कितलं वर जायना पुढे तांकां रिकग्नेशन लायसन्स आणि ग्रँटी नेड दिता ती तर हे पुरे कशी स्वामीजीन पुरे ओट टू कोर हाडले पळया ती परिज्ञानाश्रम स्वामीजीने की पंधरा दिवसा भितरी हे स्कूल स्टार्ट केले गवर्मेंटान म्हणले तुम्ही स्टार्ट करा ती दे वॉन्टेड एन जी ओ म्हणजे नॉन गवर्मेंटल ऑर्गनायझेशन तांकां गवर्मेंटा तांकलेची स्कूल सुर करच नाशिले दे वॉन्टेड एन एन जी ओ म्हणजे स्ट्री ट्रस्ट ऑलरेडी एटी वनात ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह आशिले आणि त्यांनी सुर करताना मोहन मामान असे बरोवून घाले की स्ट्री ट्रस्ट वचून स्वामीजी निमगिरा पण स्वामीजीन म्हणजे डेफिनेटली करात तुम्ही पुरे देवाल दयन जाता आणि आमगे आशीर्वाद असं तुम्ही करा ती म्हण तशी पंधरा दिवसा भितर ही सुर करू का जर मोहन मामाने बरोवून घाले मिनिस्ट्रीक की आम्ही वील बी नेमिंग इन दिस पॅटर्न स्वामी परिज्ञान आश्रम एज्युकेशन वोकेशन सेंटर फॉर दे हँडीकॅप दे रेडिली एग्रीड तांगे लेटर आयले तुम्ही सुर करा ती आणि दे फर्स्ट ऑफ वन लॅक रुपीज त्यांनी ग्रँट सुद्धा केले इमिडियटली म्हणजे हे पुरे कशी की ओट टू हाडले हे स्वामीजी गेल्याची दयनेची मागिरी हे सूर झाले फॉर्टी कंट्रीज दोन आयली इनॉग्रेशनाक स्वामीजी हे फोट पळत असत तुम्ही नेक्स्ट स्लाईड प्लीज हा तू इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर कसे स पुरे टाप ऑफ हँडीकॅपांक आम्ही एज्युकेशन फ्री एज्युकेशन फ्री ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन अँड फ्री मिड डे मील आम्ही वी गो टू फिफ्टी सिक्स्टी विलेजेस इन अँड आउट ऑफ वसई तालुका इवन नाव फ्रॉम भायंदर टू डहाणू स्टुडंट्स आर पिक्ड अप इन दर हे वीर आर येतात ती थंय नो नू चार पाच बसेस आणि तू कलेक्ट कर नू स्कूलान थाणू सांजे तांक व्हरतात इट इज अ डे केअर सेंटर आम्ही ते लव अँड अफेक्शन चेडवांग पेरेंट्स सांगेल आस का हे चेडवांक म्हणून आम्ही वी आर रनिंग द डे केअर सेंटर थंय चेडवांक आम्ही हाणू मिड डे मील ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन एज्युकेशन आणि युनिफॉर्म बॅग्स आणि हिअरिंग एड्स हिअरिंग एड्स व्हेरी कॉस्टली असं एक हिअरिंग एडाक दोन हजार दोन पंधरा आणि वीस हजार लाख हे सर ताजे प्रकार चेडवांग कितले डी बी लॉस असं ताजे प्रकार तांक दिल्यारी हा मुखार तुम सांगता हाजे हाजे नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट आमगे तू ऑल राऊंड डेव्हलपमेंट आम्ही स्कुलात चेडवांग करू पळता ती एक एज्युकेशन मात नाही एज्युकेशन आम गो तुस खंच खंचे कॅटेगरी रिटार्डेशनाक कितले तांक काय करू जाता तितले आम गोतू सर तां तू बॉर्डर लाईन माइल्ड मॉडरेट सिवियर अँड प्रोफोंड म्हणून पाच टाईप मेंटली चॅलेंजान तास सो तांक आम्ही कल शिकेलारी मुखारी तांक करू जाता तांक ओनली एज्युकेशन ओट्टू तांगेले बाकीचे एबिलिटीज असतात ती त्या एबिलिटीज सोधून काढ आम्ही अशी एक एक्झाम्पल दिता हा की स्पोर्ट्स आणि तू भरपूर मुखारी तांकां चान्स दिल्यारी मुखार येऊन तांनी खंचे करून तयार असतात ती सो आम्ही देऊन पळयले आम्ही एक अशी एक्झाम्पल तुम्ही दिता टेबल टेनिस टॉसिंग ऑन द टेबल हे टेबल टेनिस ते करू घेतले चेडवांक टेबल टेनिस शिकेले आमक एक टेबल आम डोनेशना घेतले मग इतले जण चेडवांक चान्स ना सेकंड टेबल आम्ही पर्चेस करका पडले सो तशी तांनी प्रति एक गेम तांकां आम्ही दिवच्याक मागीर हा तुम्ही सांगता हे मल्टीपर्पज प्ले ग्राउंड म्हणून केल्या ताजे मेन हे तुकले आमकां जागो मेळलेलो तां तू कशी हे केले म्हणून तेव्हे सांगता हे एटी फाय ऑक्टोबर एटी वनान तू एटी फायन जायना पडे बेगर सोमान दिले मागीर गवर्मेंटान आमकां ट्वेंटी फाय इयर्स लिजाक डी आर सी म्हणजे वीर आर वेस्टाक जाग दिलो ट्वेंटी फाय इयर्साक थंय कन्स्ट्रक्शन केले ग्रँट गवर्मेंटान दिले आणि ग्राउंड फ्लोर फर्स्ट फ्लोर सेकंड फ्लोर झाले ताका मसणान डोनेशन दिवन जाले मागिरी मोहन मामाल बापूस शांताराम मंकीकर तन मामाने टू एकर्स ऑफ लँड लँड स्ट्री ट्रस्टाक दिलेलं आशिले इट वॉज ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर्स अवे फ्रॉम द प्रेझेंट स्कूल सो विथ द परमिशन ऑफ अ चॅरिटी कमिशनर दॅट टू एकर्स ऑफ लँड वॉज सोल्ड टू निर्धार प्रतिष्ठान 
होम फॉर द मेंटली चैलेंज आज जे रुपये आयिल प्लस बाकी डोनेशन फ्रॉम ऑल अदर शेयर एंड केयर कुलकर्णी फाउंडेशन आस्तीत नाम आसा ती आनंद चंदावरकर फाउंडेशन तीन मसणान पुरे नाव घेन चाहे हॉल आसा सॉरी हम मसणा गेल घेन चाहे जाएना सो तीन पुरे तो जागो आ कंस्ट्रक्शन सुर के आत खुशी जी सग संगूक कि श्री ट्रस्टा जी जागो थे थ्री फ्लोर्स आ एक साइड एम पी फंडा तो रामना एक मिनिस्टर आशि ते प्रॉमीस के स्कूल दाखो हाड़ न संगी ते एम पी फंडा दून आप दिता मुझे सो ते एम पी फंडा जाए सो ते थे वोकेशन स्टार्ट के प्ले ग्राउंड आसा आंगा ओपन एरिया है फोर्टी बाय सिक्सटीन तू है मल्टीपर्पज प्ले ग्राउंड तू आई कल के दोन नमुना मैट्स पड़ो ये है एक तो राबी ले डार्क मैट है सड़क ते शटल आनी बास्केटबॉल दुसर स बास्केटबॉल क्रिकेट फुटबॉल ते दुसर मैटारी नंतर रोल को बैडमिंटन इन शटल शिकेता ती सो इन एक ग्राउंड तू पूरे नमुन मल्टीपर्पज प्ले तिकेता ती तू एक कैरम बोर्ड हाड़ी रात चार कैरम बोर्ड चेड़वा कित आसता आता हमको जी अभी तुमको एक एग्जांपल दिता तक शिकोन चलारी फर्स्ट वी ऑब्जर्व देन वी एसेस देन वी प्लैन देन वी इम्प्लिमेंट व्हाट बेस्ट द चाइल्ड रिक्वायर्स एंड व्हाट बेस्ट द पेरेंट रिक्वायर्स इट इज नॉट दैट टीचर्स मैट बी डूइंग हंड्रेड थिंग्स बट व्हाट दैट पर्टिकुलर चाइल्ड रिक्वायर्स दैट वी मेक इट ए पॉइंट टू गीव दम एजुकेशन तू हमें कॉन्सेप्ट शिकेता ती ग्रॉस मोटर नेक्स्ट ग्रॉस मोटर फाइन मोटर ईटिंग ड्रेसिंग ग्रूमिंग रिसेप्टिव लैंग्वेज एक्सप्रेसिव लैंग्वेज एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ चाइल्ड्स डेवलपमेंट कल आसका खे जर कल आसका खे हजेर मीती तक ना आता हम तुमका नॉर्मल मुझे घता ती हाँ को निमगीता काल कल एक दोन दिन पशपूड कल ते घेक विचार पड़ता अरे पौल खाल कि फो खाल ती हंगेल है ची ब्रेन सेट तश आसता सो तसल वेरी तक रिपीटेडली सेम शिकोक इट इज नॉट दैट तक ए टू जेड यूका तंगेल नाव आल्फेबेटिकली ए टू जेड बोलोन चाहिए स्पेलिंग आयर पुरो मैं तान खी मिसप्ले खी होगा वो गली तू मु है तुम संग खुशी जो कि फुढ़ अवेरनेस ना आशी मेरी रूरल एक तू पुअर फैमिली एजुकेशन ना इलिटरेट जो आना प्लस है पेरेंट्स आम एक इन्सिडेंट्स पढ़ा सॉरी है चेड़वान पेरेंट्स गोत ना आशि कि कल कोर का मु आत अवेरनेस पुणी आसा आता स्पेशल एजुकेशन कित कॉलेज आसा ती हम तवी टीचर्स मेल ना एटी फाइव तू को खेमी नैशनल इंस्टिट्यूट फॉर हियरिंग हेंडीकैप नैशनल इंस्टिट्यूट फॉर मेंटली हेंडीकैप मु बॉम्बे तू थे वो कौन पास आउट फाइनल जता तंगे लिस्ट घेन तंगेल मोबाइल को संगता हम वेकेंसी घून जॉइन जाए तीन आत उपरेटिके सो ती ज सो तैरी अवेरनेसा खीर स्ट्रीट प्ले आर वो तक अवेरनेस क्रिएट करूं जान गए के एक इन्सिडेंट्स पेथेटीक इन्सिडेंट्स तुम संगूक ये दिना कि एक चलक कमी सुणाक चैनाक बधुन घी ती घर ग्रिला हाथ बधुन घी वो निम गए कल खीर थी घर तंगेल हट्ट हट्टा ही दौर कंस्ट्रक्शन चालू आसा थे वो पेरेंटान कल तवली तीन मेरे भय हम चल सीवियर आस कल को तू मड मॉडरेट सीवियर प्रोफोड हम संग सीवियर हम गले लेस देन ट्वेंटी आईक्यू आसता सो तंगेल आईक्यू तीन तंगेल डिजेबिलिटी तू एक चेड़ान तू मल्टीपल डिजेबिलिटी आसता मैं हियरिंग इम्पेर्ड विजुअल एंड मेंटल रिटार्डेशन विथ ऑर्थोपेडिक मैं इनवॉलंट्री मुमेंट्स आसता ती आर्टिस्टीक चेण आसता ती आट हाइपर मैं तंगेल कश आसा हाइपर वॉन्डरिंग टेन्डेंसी एक जागार बसिना बाइटिंग स्क्रीमिंग शेवटिंग पुरा आसता 
सो ते कश कंट्रोल कर एक पड़ों घूँ का तंगेल बिहेवियर मॉडिफिकेशन आनी तो शिको नू नेक्स्ट प्लीज है स्कूल आक चेणवांक हाड़ता ती मिड डे वेलारी हजे एक इन्सिडेंस तुम संगता मिड डे आता हे चल गल कल जैसे तक बाप सुको चुन निमगे कि कल तू अ बधुन गए तो मनो पड़े चेडू सीवियर आस तक खी सोड़ा री तो खी गट रहा पड़द खी पड़द कंस्ट्रक्शन चालू आसमेंगे पोटा खीर कल कर काम वसका तो चेडा थे उरू जाएना कल कर संगले हज खीर परिज्ञान आश्रम स्वामीजी ने स्कूल काड़ा तुम्हें कसले का ना ती आम सका यून ते चेडा भरता ती आजा सोड़ता ती तुम्हें फ्त तक ये करा ती आई पड़ों घता चेडा तो शिको नू तो स्कूल तू आई पुरे पड़ता आन तंगे ऑलराउंड डेवलपमेंट करता थी आनी हजे एक इन्सिडेंस तुमक संगते सर मिड डे तू आई पड़ा ती वी गीव फूल मिल्स मेरी बाकी कड़कश दिता ती प्लेट मेल एक दोन वाटी भात आनी है चपाती करूँ बसना तीत मैन है ना सो शीत थे स्टेपल फूड राइस आशी मेती राइस दाल आनी न्यूट्रिश जो मुझी ते कालवण तू ची न्यूट्रिश वेजिटेबल्स घाल नू ते को दिता ती सो तश आशी मेती हाँ तू एक तुमक एक संगूक ये दिता एक पेरेंट तो योन मनो प्लीज तुम्हें मगल चेरडा कित वाणा ती मे कल खीर कल शॉक जाए कल लाख अभी संगता तो मूँ तो तो मनो पड़े तुम्हें पॉट मेल एक्सपेंड कित वाड़ा तित जता तुम्हें सका इतल वाड़ा री तित जेवण रि चार जण खीर करता ती हाँ सो बाप पसंद चेरडा तन एक निमगे री कश कर सो तुम्हें अभ्यास कर ना तक वाणू हाँ मैं ती एटलिस्ट दोनपार पुणी चेरडू समझ जाए तंगे आयकनी हाँ तुमक एक इन्सिडेंट संगले अभी सुधा पेरेंट्स ये ती कि अश करा ती तश करा ती मूँ सो ते मिड डे मील जाए नेक्स्ट प्लीज एजुकेशन एजुकेशन तू योगा मेडिटेशन आनी नॉर्मल आता मेंटली चैलेंज शिको कॉन्सेप्ट वाइज आसता मनी कॉन्सेप्ट टाइम कॉन्सेप्ट साइज कॉन्सेप्ट कलर कॉन्सेप्ट है पर कॉन्सेप्टार तक हलूह एक एक शिकता ती रिपीटेडली आता तक वन टू फाइव शिको एकदम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव शिकना ती वन शिकता ती टू शिकता मेरी टू शिकता वन विसरती मुझे वन एंड टू थ्री शिकता वन टू थ्री ती बैकअप तक कर मुका शिकोक ती आई तक शिकत आसता ती आनी हाँ तू ते हियरिंग एंड डिकेपाक यू टाइप फॉर्मेशन दौरता ती क्लास कल मैं बाकी चे तुम्हें पड़े आसका एक मार्क्स एक रो आसता ती है हियरिंग हेम एंडी कैपाक शिकेतना लिप लैंग्वेज एंड साउंड मेरी तक साइन लैंग्वेज एंड लिप लैंग्वेज दो शिकोक पड़ता फ्त साइन लैंग्वेज शिके कल जता दे कैन टॉक बिट्वीन देम सेल्स मैं कौन जनरल पब्लीक कल उलता तो तक अंडरस्टेंड जाएना सो आई लिप लैंग्वेज शिकोक जाए टीचर आगे लिप्त आनी मुमेंट्स पड़ेला थोड़े अंडरस्टेंड जो सो तेज खीर शिकता ती लिप लैंग्वेज एंड साइन लैंग्वेज आनी है हियरिंग एड हियरिंग एड आई वी रिक्वेस्ट रोटरी लायन्स आनी अदर फिलॉन्थ्रेफिक पीपल टू डोनेट मैं हे चेडवान गए पेरेंट्स भयंकर कॉस्ट जता एक तंगे इम्युनिटी ऊँ आसता आनी तंगे हेंडीकैप ती एक एक हियरिंग एडाक ते लाइफ कशी दोन वर आस दोन अड्डे मैक्जीम थ्री इयर्स मगर ते आप कंपनी से तुमको तो कश प्रॉफिट कर का मूँ दोन दोन वर्सान तू कल रिपेर कर एक डिफेक्टिव कल एक पॉय पार्ट घता ती सो कर का पड़ता सो तसल वेर डोनेशन घता ती हजे एक सक्सेस स्टोरी सुधा आस तवल मंके मुकंक रो ती वाचाल मंके भगवत गीता तू तीच एक नमिता व्यास मुझू ती तीन वर्स चेरडो आगे स्कूल तू तीन एडमिशन घी देवाल दयान है आनी मुक मनता नहीं कृपहम वंदे परमानंद माधव ती एक्चुअल ते पड़ा तो चल एक कल उलोचा जाएना तिका हियरिंग एड तीग कित डी बी लॉस पड़ो न तीक एप्रोप्रिएट मशीन मैं शो खीर तो एक बॉक्स फूड गवर्मेंट दिता तरी गमेंट है ना 
आता एक गंमत एक तुम संगता आता सगले फुड़े तक एक लाज दिता कल की एक वायर अभी घान एक बॉक्स घाता ती आ सगले को घान घेना ती आता तक सगलांक एक कुशी ची स जने का ना हियरिंग एड घ कुशी ची अरे मज मगे सग जने जल बाय मूँ तीत एक अभी गंम्मत है एक संगला है हमें यूनिफॉर्म नेक्स्ट प्लीज है मगे ग्राफ एटी फाइव दो टू थाउजंड ट्वेंटी थे दिखा स्टूडेंट्स कित जन रिहेबिलिटेशन जाए कश जाए नेक्स्ट प्लीज आगे लहन तू सायकोलॉजिस्ट आस स्पीच थेरेपिस्ट आस ऑक्युपेशन थेरेपिस्ट फीज स्पीच थेरेपिस्ट पुराय आसा ती है है स्पीच थेरेपिस्ट आए हाँ तू स्पीच थेरेपिस्ट आगे कल मेरी तंगे ऑडियोग्राम का डी बी लॉस आस ते प्रकार है दिता थी आनी थेरेपी आगे फिजियोथेरेपी रूम आस थी फिजियोथेरेपिस्ट डिफरंट टाइप है बॉल पूल मू है बॉल पुलान तू चेड़वांक कशी स्विमिंग पुलान तू खेलता ती ती उड्डू नाचू नू पुरे तानी पड़ते तू गम्मत को आसता ती दैट इज फिजियोथेरेपी बॉल पूल आनी तक भई आसता चिक्के अनिवन सरफेज आसा चमकून चा भई आसता सो ते भई काड़का जैसे कल को मेरी हाँ तू आगे फिजियोथेरेपी तू आम एक बोट टाइप वॉकिंग है के ते चिके हालता ती हाल चेरी तक चमकार ये मेरा तक अभ्यास जाऊँ का हाँ तू स्विंग ते पुरे करता ती आका ऑबेसिटी बगी वाड़ता सो तक एक्सरसाइज के दस का सो ताज खीर सायक्लिंग पुराय आस नेक्स्ट प्लीज हाँ तू आर्ट क्राफ्ट आँ मगता वही है चेड़वांक वन इज टू वन सुधा दिवक पड़ता मैक्जिम एक क्लास तू पंद्रह दोन वीस माइल्ड अंक मॉडरेट अंक सीवीयर चेड़वांक वन इज टू वन दिवक पड़ता एक टीचर आने एक चलो तंत वी टीच इंडिविजुअलाइज ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम एक चेड़ा गए कल तेल आईक्यू पड़ो न तक कल जाए को जानमिती तंगेल ईच फाइल वी हेव मेन्टेन फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ एडमिशन टू द प्रेजेंट लेवल तो खे आशि आत कश आत तक कल शिकोक है तक पूरे तवल संगील मंके एटीन डॉमिन्स शिकेता ती आनी तक इंडिविजली एक आपो न शिकेता है हियरिंग इम्पेड जाए नेक्स्ट प्लीज आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट आता हो थी तुमका लास्ट तुमका पड़ता हाँ हमसपाद मु संगील नहीं नहीं तो टेलरिंग हाँ तो तक पारी ची तेल प्रोट्यूडेड आईस हंग ब्रेन स्टीच घाला चेड़पणा का तक आपरेशन जाए तागल आन तू देवान एबिलिटी कश दी पड़ा ती बोट अभी वटू जॉइंट आस तरी सु तक नैक आशि आउंगाल कटको नू ही यूज टू स्टीच ट्वेंटी फाइव आइटम्स मेरी टेलरिंग एग्जाम पास को जैरी ट्वेंटी थ्री आइटम्स तक को फ्रॉम शॉर्ट्स शर्ट पैंट है ते पूरे हाँ वो नो रिक्वेस्ट के डायरेक्टर ऑफ वोकेशन इन बैंड्रा तो डायरेक्टर संगले तुम्हें हाँ एग्जाम घया ती हाँ रिटर्न एग्जाम करूँ जाएना तवली है एटी सिक्स हाँ खबर संगता तवली को रईटर मनुशी तक ऑर्थोपेडिक ब्लाइंड आसता है तरी ऑर्थोपेडिक को ना तो लगे ब्रेन मेरी तक तकले नाशि सो तर तो शिवन चाक तक ना एबिलिटी देवान दिल सो तक वो परमिशन घो तक आपन वेला डायरेक्टर ने स्पेशल है करूँ क ट्वेंटी थ्री आइटम्स तज कर फर्स्ट क्लास पास दिल तेल सर्टिफिकेट सुधा आस पुरे सोम्या गए दयने की आमी काम करता ती तंगेले प्रेरणा आनी तंगेले शक्ति ने है चेणवांक उद्धार जता आता है चेणवांक आमी है वोकेशन सेक्शन है वोकेशन सेक्शन तू फस्ट आमी न्यूजपेपर दिता ती मैं फस्ट हाँ अंगाल दिल नुस्ते अननेसेसरी वेस्ट आनी न्यूजपेपर आता पेपर बैग्स करूँ स्टीच के एक कार एक गम्म के एक कार एक दवर ला चेड़ी खिचुन वता तजबर लग आईडी कल के स्टीच कर सो डबल पेपर न्यूज पेपर फोल्ड को नू तक यू टाइप स्टीच करता आनी तीन को नू पेपर बैग्स मेडिकल शॉप हाँ तू तू जाता 
मागीर तां शिकना फुडें तांक आम क्लॉथ दिवच्या सूर करता ती सो दॅट हे कॅन आणि वोकेशनान तू थंय जाले आणि कॅन्डल्स आता फाईल मॅन्युफॅक्चरिंग कॅन्डल आणि हे विविंग असं थंय आम्ही डस्टर्स आणि करता ती आणि चेडवांक एम्ब्रॉयडरी आणि कोणाक आय क्यू लेवल अस बरे असं आता नेक्स्ट प्लीज हे पुरे रिहॅबिलिटेड झालेलं आहे सोम्यांगेल इच्छा आशील कशी की ह्या चेडवांक फक्त शिकोच नाही शिके ना पुढे तांकां रिहॅबिलिटेट कशी करता त्या तुम्ही पळयात ती आता सगळे खंय सगळ्यांक रिक्वेस्ट करता ती कोण कोणागेले इंडस्ट्रीज असत आणि तू एटलिस्ट थोडे जणांक तुम्ही असले चेडवांक एक चान्स दिवन पळया ती मग सो तांतूल पैकी ह्यानी इंडस्ट्रीजान तू कोण कोण दिलेलं आहे हे पुरे रिहॅबिलिटेट झालेलं आहे नेक्स्ट प्लीज नेक्स्ट प्लीज हे पुरे रिहॅबिलिटेट झालेलं आहे हा तावळी सांगील मग की हे तू पुरे असं आमचं लागी के यान म्हणून असं आणि एक आम्ही काय केलं एक रूम आणि तू हे पुरे शिकेता ती इ लर्निंग आता आम्ही शिकेत असं ती चेडवांक सिंग इज बिलिव्हिंग सो तसे शील मी ती चेडवांक हिअरिंग हँडिकॅप चेडवांक कल करताली एक पंधरा वीस वर्ष पण पुढे वाघ मी म्हणून बँगलोर एक ॲप घेतील आहे कॉम्प्युटर तां तू एक अशी एक उदाहरण दिता एक पक्षी हंगा असं आणि एक तागल घर हंगा असं तागल पील थंय असं थंय नोंद ताने थंय वच का जाला रे आ ई ते पुरा म्हणून घेऊन का जाला रे त्या जर आम्ही हे मॉड्युलेट चेंज करतात कितले टाईम कितले सेकंड दहा सेकंड पंधरा सेकंड सो चल्लो आ अशी म्हण म्हणा म्हणा ते विज्युअल पळोन ते पक्षी हांग दोन हांग येता म्हणून केल्या रे तागेल तशी करता सो तशी चेडवांक आम्ही एनकरेजमेंट दिता ती ग्रुप हे नेक्स्ट प्लीज हे हॅपी होम प्रोजेक्ट हे नवीन आम्ही आज स्टार्ट केलेलं आहे आणि तू हॅपी होम म्हणारी हे बाकी स्कूल्सान तू नाशिले हे आम्ही आवर्स इज द फर्स्ट स्कूल वेअर वी स्टार्टेड होम मॅनेजमेंट म्हणारी हाऊस किपिंगाचे कलकल आहे म्हणून वॉट आय डन इज एक हॉड हॉल कन्वर्टेड इन टू ड्रॉइंग रूम किचन बेडरूम अँड वॉशरूम तां तू ड्रॉइंग ड्रॉइंग रूमान तू चू चेअर्स जाऊका म्हणूची हा दोन तीन कलर दौरता आणि तां सांगता कसे दौरका म्हणून एकलं म्हणता ऑल्टरनेट दौरया दुसरं म्हणता व्हाईट व्हाईट आणि रेड रेड दौरया तशी मग तांका स्वीपिंग स्वीपिंग मॉपिंग क्लिनिंग डस्टिंग ते पुरे शिकेता ते म्हणारी तांका आम्ही कैर करची कशी पेपरा चोर जाव रा सँड स्प्रेड करू हॉरिझंटली बसून काढका अशी राब बोन काढचे तसला तर मेळता ती गुरुम तरी हे बसून काढला क्लीन जाता म्हणून मागिरी उशाक फ्रॉम कर्चिफ टू बेडशीट कशी तांकां फोल्ड करून आम्ही कपाट केल्या ते पळया ती थंय ब्रदर मदर सिस्टर अँड फादर अशी एक एक हे केल्या तां तू चितांनी तांगेल फोल्ड करून दवरता ते ती करतच चालली आणि कुकिंगान तू आम्ही तांगेल अकॉर्डिंग टू द रेज म्हणारी गॅस बर्नरा लागी कोण येता ते पुरे केर नू हायजीन तांक शिकवू तांका शारबत सँडविच आणि शीत दाळी अशी सिम्पल कले करची आम शिकेता ती तांची मिती इतल थाय खुश झाली पेरेंट्सांक हे कोविड टायमारी एक घरान तू कोणी एक कामाची ना ती कसले ना तर हे चेडवांनी पुरे करू हे शिकेल मी म्हणा स्वामीजीन हे आयडियासन दिलेले आणि स्वाम्यान हे पुरे स्कूल काळ मी ती इतल जण कितले हॅपी असं ती की तुम्ही हे पुरे शिकेल मी ती तांनी कैर काढचे तांकां हेल्प जाताले पेरेंट्सांक रांदप करताना हेल्प जाताले आम्ही चेडवांक मागीर हे नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट दाखव हॉर्टिकल्चर हॉर्टिकल्चर म्हणारी वी हॅव फाउंड इन नाईन्टी फाय लार्ज पॉप्युलेशन ऑफ अवर हँडिकॅप केम फ्रॉम फार्मिंग कम्युनिटी तां तू तांक आम्ही कल शिकव म्हणा किचन गार्डन थंय आम्ही व्हेजिटेबल्स आता हे आमकां देवा जाय जाग आशिल मी ती आम्ही अकल केलं आहे की एक एक टीचरांक टेन बाय टेन जाग दिलो आणि तांतूय कॉम्पिटिशन सान्न चेडवांनी येऊन थंय धनी घालचे जाऊ बी घालचे दुसरं हॉड चेडवांनी उदा घालचे आणि तिसरे चिके हॉड चेडवांनी वीड्स काढचे आणि तशी करून तांकां किचन गार्डनाचे लायकिंग हाडेल आणि तांनी एटलिस्ट दे कॅन वर्क इन देअर ओन लँड ऑर दे कॅन वर्क इन देअर नेबर्स टू अर्न देअर लायवलीहूड सो ताजे खातीर हे हॉर्टिकल्चरे आम्ही शिकवंक पडाय माय नेक्स्ट हे योगाचे वळ सांगील मग हे मल्टीपर्पज रूमान तू योगा आणि पुरे शिकेत असं ती नेक्स्ट 
कॉम्प्युटर सी शिकत आसा ती आनी है एबैकस एबैकस है डेफ चेणवानी इत फास्ट ती कंटिंग करता ती टू डिडिट टी डिडिटा मल्टीप्लिकेशन आडिशन नहीं करता ती चेणो आमगेल इंटरनेशनल लेवल तू एक चलती पास जी तिगले आस नेक्स्ट प्लीज आमी ड्रॉइंग क्राफ्ट हे चेणवान तू ड्रॉइंग क्राफ्ट शिकता ती हे के यान मुनो हाँ तू प्रोजेक्टरारी एजुकेटिव फिल्म्स तक सगड़ी बोसू नू आ चेणवान थिएटर मेरे ओटू काल जता कहना सो वजगेल तल को हंगा चिके ची स्क्रीन घान एक रूम कन्वर्टेड इंटू एक थिएटर शे थी सान मिनी थिएटर शे थी प्रोजेक्टरारी एजुकेटिव फिल्म्स तक शिकता नेक्स्ट प्लीज है होल्डिंग हैंड्स सद्यो जा शंकर आश्रम स्वामी जी ने इतल गोमट को कि है पेरेंट्स हाँ तब संग बाकी स्कूल तू ओनली वन अवर आसता तक सीवियर चेड़वान अपन हाँ बसकार शिकोन तो आई धूर दोन ये ती कल तक आपस वो चेवचान तू तीन तास का तीन एक तासक मूँ दोन तास टेन टू ट्वेल मैं तक ईटिंग जेवन ची को तक बसार पेटेता ती है दोन तास पेरेंट्स यून बसता अभी ची गप मारूँ तवली है सद्योज शंकर आश्रम स्वामी जी कले है बेस्ट होल्डिंग हैंड्स तीन स्टार्ट के तीन कल संगले हैं जे पेरेंट्स बसता थी तक आर्ट आनी क्राफ्ट शिकेलारी दे कैन तंगेल टाइम तीन स्पेंड को विथ वैल्युएबल है आनी ते रिटर्न तक फाइनेंशियल सुधे बेनिफिट जो आज कित जन कुशेन हाँ फोल्डिंग हैंड्सक संवीत सुधा चेन यून आई एम थैंकफुल टू ऑल संवीत सुधा पीपल दे कम फ्रॉम पुना बॉम्बे विरार वैसई थे हेल्प करता थी सो है चेड़वान आनी चेड़वान पेरेंट्स चेड़वें शिकू जता तीन तक घर करूँ जता आनी है कोर न है पुरे कल कल आइडिया है पुरे यून शिकेता ती पेरेंट्स आनी हाज मे ती मस्त पेरेंट्स पड़े तंगे तोंडारी खुश कले परिज्ञान आश्रम स्वामी जी गेले फर्स्ट कल आशि तंत लगी मस्त जान ये वताली तवली असले पेरेंट्स ना पुल ती एक मेले कि पेरेंट्स खुश के कित बर जान गए तीच तंगेल कार्य ज आनी इ लर्निंग रोड ट्री क्लब लायन्स क्लब संगू नू आता आमगे स्कूल तू सात फर्स्ट टू सैवेन स्टैंडर्ड आस फॉर हियरिंग एंड डिपेक तक सगले कड़े आता देवाल दे डोनेशन कलेक्ट को नू ई लर्निंग प्रत्येक क्लास तू घ दे कैन सी पड़ो नू शिके दंग्लीश शिकोन चाक तो हियरिंग इम्पेर्ड ची डीड्स इंडिया मु ये तानी तंगे पेटेता ती ट्रेनर्स तानी यून इंग्लीश चेड़वान बेसिक इंग्लीश शिकेता ती नेक्स्ट प्लीज आई है चेड़वान खे फेस्टिवल सूर जाऊँ पश फुड़े एक दिवस पश फुड़े आई स्कूल करता ती गणपति वेकेशन दिवच पश फुड़े आई दिर्वकूर मा कल तक लाल फुलक हाज कल गणपति मे क आरती मा कल निवेद्या कल दौर का मोदक आनी नीलांजन ते पूरे सेटअप को नू अर्यर प्लीज फेस्टिवल हाँ हंगा ते पूरे पड़ा ती गणपति पूजा करता ती ते चेड़वान को आरती करता ती कश को कल तक एनकरेजमेंट दिवचा कान तू ते कलश दौला ते ई दूर नाव बरयला कलश तंबर दुर्वा मोदक तक वाचू नू तो वे करूँ क आनी है एवरी एन्युअल सत्यनारायण पूज करता ती आनी फ्लैग हॉस्टिंग आनी बाकी आस एन्युअल डे फंक्शन करता ती सो नेक्स्ट प्लीज हाँ तू आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट हाँ तू आई चेड़वान है कंदील को शिकेलिया आनी हजे पेन्सिल मेडिंग हजे ने कलकल को द ते पूरे आम शिको नू मगर ते विको नू श्री ट्रस्ट डजन टेक अ नया पैसा फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स नॉर है एंड वॉट एवर द प्रॉफिट अर्न ऑन दीज आइटम्स इट इज गिवन बैक टू द स्टूडेंट्स श्री ट्रस्ट एक पैस प्रॉफिट घेना तो प्रॉफिट कित आशि तित सगल चेणवान वाटन दिता अकॉर्डिंग टू देर जॉब नेक्स्ट प्लीज 
आम्ही ॲप रन्स करतात ती ॲप रन्स कशी म्हणारी वन साइडेड कुकिंग रिवर्स केल्या वॉशिंग टाक प्लॅस्टिक शीट घाल्या आणि आता मोबाईल्स जवळ पॉकेट्स आहे केल्या ती आणि एक दुसरे टाईप केले आम्ही हँड बॅग म्हणा पॉकेट बॅग्स म्हणून एक बॅग ते फोल्ड करून भितरी इतले सांग पौच करून पॉकेटान दवर येतात ते इट कॅन ओपन केल्या इट कॅन कॅरी फाय टू सिक्स के जी सो तशी पॉकेट बॅग्स हे करतात ती हे पुरे आम्ही शिकत असत ती नेक्स्ट प्लीज हे आमगे स्टाफ असं गवर्मेंट एडेड अशी मी ती गवर्मेंट एडेडही असं प्लस श्री ट्रस्टान सुद्धा आता नाईन्टीन जनांक दवरलेलं असं नेक्स्ट प्लीज हे तुम्ही आम्ही स्पोर्ट्स आणि तावळ तावळ सांगील मग के एक नाईन्टीन नाईन्टीनान तो कोविड आपण फूड आहे वी गॉट फॉर्टी फोर गोल्ड ट्वेंटी थ्री सिल्वर अँड सिक्स्टीन सिल्वर ब्रॉन्ज एक वर्सान तो आमगे चेणव डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल स्टेट लेवल नॅशनल लेवल आणि इंटरनॅशनल लेवलान सुद्धा वचून प्राईज घेतील असं ती हे अनेक तुमकं सांगता नमिता व्यास झाली ही संजना राय म्हणून येल्लो म्हणून एक फिल्म मेंटली चॅलेंजाच्यारी एक येल्लो फिल्म म्हणून काढल्या ते थंयच्याचे प्रोड्युसर आणि विरारचो प्रोड्युसर तो आमगे स्कूल आयो आणि आमगे स्कूलान ते पुरे तक स्टडी करून सांगले असे असे असतात ते असे असतात मागीर गौरी म्हणाल एक स्विमर इंटरनॅशनल ती पुनाची ती कले हे बेस जाऊन हे फिल्म काढता न्ही येल्लो म्हणून तान तू ती गेल अर्लियर डेस म्हणून ही संजना राय आमगे स्कुलाची ती तिक नॅशनल अवॉर्ड मेळला ते फोटो ते प्रणब मुखर्जी तावळ दिता असं मागीर आमगे ट्वेंटी फाय इयर्स झाले कशी परिज्ञान आश्रम स्वामीजी प्रत्येक ॲन्युअल डे घेताली थं येऊन पेरंट्सा मार्गदर्शन करताली चेडवांक ब्लेसिंग्स आणि तांगे जायच पडता स्वामीजी गेले तशीच आता सद्योजा शंकर आश्रम स्वामी सुद्धा आमगे स्कुलान मस्तपंत आयल्या ती चेडवांक पेरंट्सांक गायडन्स दिता ती खेळूक एनकरेजमेंट करता ती आणि तांगे आशीर्वादानेची हे पुरे मुखार येत असत ती आणि हे आमगे जागृती सकपाड म्हणून हा तावळ सांगील मग के इंटरनॅशनल लेवलान तू इंडिया रेप्रेझेंटेड तान तू आमगे जॉईन जाली तान तू ही ब्रॉन्ज मेडल मेळले आता नेक्स्ट वील ट्राय फॉर सिल्वर अँड गोल्ड सो इट इज नॉट दॅट हान तू स्पेशल ऑलिम्पिक्सान तू पार्टिसिपेशनच महत्व प्राईज मेळचे वी आर शुअर त्याच प्राईज सो तरी सुद्धा आमक एक आश असं मनुष म्हण आपण आश असतात ती सो आमक गोल्ड मेळला बरं आहे सिल्वर मेळला बरं आहे ब्रॉन्ज मेळले आता मुखार मेळतले आणि आता नेक्स्ट डे एकलो बतस तो पा आता रशियान तू आशिले बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वॉर ते स्पेशल ऑलिम्पिक्स पोस्टपोन केल्या नाही आणि एकलो महाडिक म्हणून वत तशिलो सिद्धेश महाडिक म्हणून तो वतालो आणि इंटरवेशन प्रोग्राम ऑटिजम आज करतात ती अर्ली इंटरवेशन आता बिलो फायर साखा आमगे स्कुलान करता ती आणि प्रार्थना लेवल तान तू एन ओ एस आचे आमगे आता थर्ड लेवलाक सुद्धा पास जाता ती तुमक पुरे परिज्ञान पत्रिकान तू हे आम्ही न्यूज आणि दित असता ती कल कल कॉम्पिटिशन झालेलं आहे तरी एक मग सांगू कुशी दिसता आणि तुम सगळ्यांनी इतले पुरे परिज्ञान आश्रम स्वामीजींनी आणि हे सद्योजा स्वामीजी आमकां एनकरेज करून मुखार हाडतस स्कूल तर हा सगळ्यांक एक रिक्वेस्ट करता सीईंग इज बिलिव्हिंग अंटील यू कम अँड सी यू विल नॉट कितले फोटोज पळयला रे थंय वचून कला पळवंक आणि तुमगे इन्वॉल्वमेंट कशी जाऊ का की तान तू येऊन आता तुम सगळ्यांक एक एक नॉलेज देवान दिलेलं असं सो ते नॉलेज हे चेडवांक पार्ट एक केल्या रे कोणाक स्टिचिंग येता एम्ब्रॉयडरी येता कोणी आणि स्टोरी टेलिंग कले ना जाल्यार स्टोरी टेलिंग तांक खुशी जाता आम्ही स्कूल्स कॉलेजेसान लागी आशिल वचून सांगता ती आत्ता काला चेडवांक कितले कल्ले दिला रे उणेची तांकां आपण हाण आम्ही दाखयतात पळे हे चेडवांक तुम पळया ती मागीर तुम कळतले की तुमगे आस बापसून तुमक दिलेले चड जात की उण जात म्हणून सो तांकां हे आपण हाण दाखवून तान पळेल मी ती तांक मस्त अवेअरनेस जाता ते अवेअरनेस करूक आणि प्रिव्हेन्शन स्वामीजीन म्हणले प्रिव्हेंटिव्ह कशी करू जाता हान तू नोन एन अननोन फॅक्टरी असा ती म्हणजे प्रेग्नेंट वुमनाने पडल्या रे खंचे हॉस्पिटल लोक पॅरायटल लोक ताक डॅमेज झाल्या रे कल 
चेरडो जाऊन चपुरो सो तानी कल कल काल जी घेऊ का स्मोकिंग को नहीं प्रेग्नेंट वुमेन ना ने जाओ ड्रिंक्स हॉट ड्रिंक्स घेऊ ने ते प्रिव्हेंटिव्ह ॲस्पेक्ट आणि कंजाईक विनल मॅरेजेस म्हण जाती त्याक वर नाही आणि बिलो द इतले एज अबो द एज चेणो जाल्या रे तांतू रिस्क चढ म्हणजे नोन एन अननोन फॅक्टर्स आम केन गोतूस ते आम्ही चेणवांक कॉलेजाचे स्टुडंट्सांक सांगता ती पळे बी केअरफुल असे असे आस जाऊन चान्स असे जाल्या रे असे जाऊन चान्स असता सो तुम्ही असे पुरे कोर नका ती म्हणजे गुड हॅबिट्स तांका कलके हे करूक आम्ही करतस ती प्रोग्राम आता ऑलरेडी थर्टी सेवन इयर्स जाल्ले आमका सगळं जण परिज्ञानाश्रम स्वामीजी हंग गेले आणि सद्योजाश्रम स्वामी हंग गेले आणि सगळे तुमगे डोनर्स आमका हेल्प करतस ती तशी हेल्प मुखारी करता ती म्हणून खात्री असं प्लस तुमगे विजिट एक इज अ मस्ट तितले हा सांगता आणि कोणाक केले हे ऑर्गनाइज केलेले हा सगळ्यांक हे एक मा चान्स देऊ नू स्कुला बद्दल सांगच खातीर ऑर्गनायझिंग कमिटी मग चैतन मामाले फोन आयले की असे अशी आम्ही स्पीच तुगेले टॉक दवरच असं म्हणून हा म्हणजे मुलाखांचा जाल्या तरी ना ना हंगा करले बरे म्हणून सो आज ताजे खातीर आय वुड लाईक चैतन माम अँड ऑल द अदर कमिटी मेंबर्स टू गिव्ह मी अ चान्स टू हॅव दिस सेशन थँक यू व्हेरी मच आणि कले असल्यारी तुम्ही या ती आणि पळया ती तुमच्या खातीर थँक्यू थँक्यू विनय माम भोग आम झालं तुगेल प्रेझेंटेशन इट इज इंडीड अ मॅटर ऑफ ग्रेट प्राईड दॅट यु नो वी हॅव सच अन इन्स्टिट्यूशन थँक्स टू द अनुकंपा अँड द विजन ऑफ परमपूज्य परिज्ञान आश्रम स्वामीजी Uh, I'm sure you uh, all have a great time to come to this school. And you can see how many people can do it. How many people can do it in the school. And you can see how many people can do it. That's why I'm going to give you the number of people. Thank you. Now, Mukhaval Karikramu, Dr. Sudha Tinekar Pachi, Pachi Gail, uh, uh, a talk sa, on uh, Paridnana Shamsa Mangala, you can see how many people can do it. Kandra Saraswatantani, Tantu Lekhani, I like it. Yes, I am. या पुस्तका विषयारी या परिज्ञानाशम समान बरेल पुस्तका विषयांतु ती उल्लंच असा पळया आता वळी आम्ही हा आम्ही बाय डॉक्टर सुधा टिनेकर दक्षिणा सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता स्मरिया गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्तिभेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम परिज्ञानाश्रम श्री गुरुशंकर परिज्ञानाश्रम शंकर सद्गुरु केशव वामन कृष्ण पांडुरंग आनंद परिज्ञान गुरु सद्यो जात शंकर सद्गुरु गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओं सहनावत सहनौ भुनक्त सह वीर वह तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तु मिद्विषा वह ओं शाति 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 It is said that Ishwara Anugrahat Eva Pumsam Advaita Vasana. What this means is, our Shruti, our scriptures say that it is only out of the grace of the Lord, grace of Ishwara, 
that a human being has got interest in Advaita. What is this Advaita? Advaita is the ultimate teaching of our scriptures. Where our scriptures say that you think you the Jiva is different from Jagat and you are different from Ishvara. So you are finding a difference between yourself, Jagat and Ishvara. But that difference is not the reality. It is only a superficial difference. It is only an experiential reality. It's only an experiential difference. The real difference is not there. There is Aikyam. Advaita means the Jiva is not different from Ishvara. And the Jiva represented by the content of the Jiva called as Atma. Atma is not different from Brahman, which is the very content of the entire universe. So this is the very teaching of our scriptures and our Upanishads. And we are very fortunate that you know, we all, the Chitrapur Saraswat Bhanaks, we have been born, you know, in a community which is headed by an Advaita Guru Parampara of 300 years. For 300 years, we have been having a Guru Parampara which has been going on the lines of the absolute central teaching of the Shruti, which is nothing but Advaita. And of course, because of the lack of probably documentation and other things, we are not very sure of the works that were done by our absolutely previous gurus. But it's only from the time of Srimad Anandashram Swamiji that we have started having something, some kind of a documentation of their talks, like some recordings are there, some writings of theirs have been there. But at the time of Srimad Parijnanashram Swamiji 3, there have been many writings of Swamiji. And all these writings are showing nothing but this absolute Advaita teaching of our scriptures. And in this, the Advaita Parampara of ours has been very, very loyal, I can say, to our scriptures. And especially since we consider Shankaracharya, Vyasacharya and Shankaracharya as one of the main Advaita Gurus and the tradition which is followed by Shankaracharya, that's why we say Shankaracharya Madhyama, as Dakshinasya Samarambha. That Advaita Parampara which started from Dakshinamurti and in which an important link is Shankaracharya, Shankaracharya Madhyama, Asmadacharya Paryanta, Asmadacharya till my Acharya, till this Acharya of mine, that Parikritada Guru Parampara, I prostrate myself. I surrender to that Guru Parampara which gives me this teaching of Advaita. And I think one of the most important writings of one of our gurus, that is Srimad Parijnanashram Swamiji 3, on the Advaita, absolute teaching, the crystal clear, the nectar of the teaching of Advaita, teaching of the Upanishads, is in the form of this small book called Hama Ami. Of course, our Swamiji, now when I say Swamiji, it means Parijnanashram 3 Swamiji. Now, this book, it is said that when Parijnanashram Swamiji was in Rishikesh in the year 1977, on the serene environment of Rishikesh, on the banks of River Ganga, our Swamiji is supposed to have penned down his thoughts in, a form, in the form of a manuscript. He had written it in his handwriting. The manuscript was written. And of course, the entire manuscript was not available later on. But a large part of the manuscript was available with one of the families. And that manuscript, of course, was available to our present Guru, Srimad Sejoja Shankarashram Swamiji. And this book, of course, was printed earlier, you know, by some individuals it was printed. And it was printed in the form of Hava Ami only. And our Swamiji had written it in Konkani. And this Konkani is so beautiful. And that particular you know, message of the Upanishads, the message of Advaita philosophy, has been given absolutely beautifully in a language like Konkani, where Swamiji has not used any other language or any other words. 
but the entire shruti teaching entire entire upanishad teaching of advaita that is abheda between jiva and ishvara no bheda between jiva and ishvara that has been put down very beautifully in about 12 to 13 chapters but what was available to us in the form of the manuscripts was only the first 11 chapters therefore this book probably might seem incomplete to some of us who have read it but unfortunately since we do not have the manuscript for the rest of the book this book could not be translated into english beyond what is available to us and it is my good fortune and it is ishwara's grace that this particular small printed booklet was brought to me by a dear friend of mine and she gave me that book to read that book and just explain to her what swami ji was meaning when he had written this and that was the first time that i was reading parignan ashram swami ji's work and when i started reading it i was absolutely stunned that it was nothing short of a vedantic treatise it was nothing short of an upanishad probably we you know since swami ji himself had given the name of hama ami we had to retain it but probably we could if i had you know the you know freedom to give it a title i would probably give it a title of parignana upanishad it is nothing but upanishad because our upanishad granthas or our even prakarana granthas which are written on the upanishads they talk about a lot of aspects which are talked about in the shruti a prakarana grantha is a grantha written by the later acharyas based on the upanishads based on the shruti smriti and puranas where there is a culling out of the important messages from the shruti and smriti and a particular wholesome grantha is written in which the six important aspects of any of the shruti grantha will be there one thing is what is jiva swarupa what is the jiva second what is jagat third what is ishvara what is bandha what is moksha and what are the sadhanas for moksha these are the six chapters or six i wouldn't say chapters these are the six topics which are dealt by any of the prakarana granthas and hama ami is such a short work but i can say that it is a complete work and it is the complete work of or of of the standard of an upanishad though there are no verses there it is purely in the text form but still we can call it a very beautiful prakarana grantha and swami ji has you know written it in such a form that it is almost like a story once you start reading it you can't really put it down it's in the form of a story but at the same time in the story swami ji rather than talking about the facts or the truths that are given in upanishad he has weaved a story of adi shankara acharya in the form of an exalted jiva and when i saw this particular book when i read it i felt that it needed to be translated into english and at the same time whatever you know the vedantic truths that have been written there whatever the shruti and smriti have been written there lot of portions from bhagavad gita from the upanishads so much of culling out of the upanishadic truths and the smriti truths brahma sutra truths from various our prasthanatareya granthas have been there i felt that it is very necessary for us to even write commentaries on that whatever swami ji is meaning so that the reader gets an idea of what swami ji is trying to say if a person has already read this book with the commentary then what am i whatever i am going to talk now is going to be a review of that book if those people who have not read this book with its commentary it is something like it a stimulus for these people to read this book i think being a chitrapur saraswat bhanav if we have not read hava ami we have not done justice to our guru parampara that i can say and this book with the commentary has been made available on our ebook session section in the chitrapur math website and i very sincerely urge every one of us every one of the community to go through that and since 
our Pooja Sadhyoja Chankarachalam Swamiji, he, when I expressed my wish that such a book written by our Swamiji, Parikyanasham Swamiji, which is nothing but a, you know, a culling out of or a summary of the Shruti or Upanishad, and it should not just go like that. It should be available to our people to read. And if the manuscript is available, then we should make the manuscript also available so that people can read the manuscript for the original thing, the proof that our Swamiji had written it. And since the original is there and the commentary that I have written in English is there next to that, it is easy for people to compare what is written by Swamiji and what I have written as a commentary. And I tell you that, you know, it was one of the most unique and wonderful experiences of my life when I wrote an English translation and a commentary on the Vedantic aspects written by Swamiji in this book. And I feel sometimes when I read that particular commentary, I feel that probably I have not written it at all. I'm very sure it must have been Paramapuja Parignanashram Swamiji himself who would have probably sat in my buddhi and sat in my hands and made me write the whole thing. Because when I read it now, I cannot believe that I have actually written that. It's my personal experience. Every time I read that commentary, I feel I can't be writing this. I can't be writing it so well. It is not me. It is some power. It is Swamiji only who has made me an instrument. And through me, Swamiji has expressed his views already in Konkani and to make it available in English, Swamiji has made it available to all the people to understand certain very, very subtle aspects written by Swamiji. And sometimes it is little difficult because Swamiji goes back and forth, back and forth. And then he has weaved a story of the individual soul or the individual jiva from the life of Shankaracharya, Adi Shankaracharya. And sometimes when we read this particular work, we feel, is Swamiji talking about himself in the form of Shankaracharya? Because Swamiji is talking in first person. Shankaracharya in this book is being addressed not as Shankaracharya. Swamiji is talking as Shankaracharya in the first person. And sometimes we wonder whether really it is all that Swamiji is mentioning here, talking about, is something from his own life, is it so? We start feeling like that. It is so beautifully woven. And what we have here is the 11 chapters. And of course, I cannot talk about the whole book in this short kind of a review. And I'm only going to talk about what Swamiji has written in these 11 chapters, just a kind of a bird's eye view of whatever has been written in this chapter by chapter. So chapter by chapter, so that it becomes easier for a person who is wanting to study this book to understand what he can expect from each of the chapters. Now, the first chapter, when Swamiji starts the first chapter, he starts with what is Atma, what is Brahman. That is a basic thing. What is this Atma? What is this Brahman? We say that Brahman or Atma is from where the entire Jagat came. So what is this? Is this Atma, Brahman, Ishvara? What are all these things? What are these terms? What is the meaning of Brahman? What is the meaning of Atma? And what is this Jiva? Is this Jiva an individual soul or an individual Jiva? Is it separate from Brahman? Is it a manifestation of Brahman? How the Jiva has manifested? How the world has manifested? How the world of various names and forms have formed come? This is the Srishti Prakarana. That is the first thing that any of the Upanishad Grantha talks about. It talks about Srishti Prakarana. Srishti means what? From where this whole creation came. We are here. We are seeing the Srishti. From where this Srishti has come about? Where this creation has come about? What is the origin of this creation? If I am seeing this whole Jagat, I am seeing so many Jeevas. I am seeing myself here as an individual being, as an individual human being. Like me, there are so many other individual human beings. Like human beings, there are so many other individual animals, plants, so many kinds of jivas. From where have they come? How have they come? That is what Swamiji is trying to talk about in the chap first chapter 
as to what is this Atma, what is this Brahman, how Maya Vida, because see in this I cannot go into details because this is not like Vivek Chudamani or Bhagavad Gita. This is a mere review of what Swamiji has written. So he brings in the concept of Maya. What is this Maya? What is Brahman? How Brahman and Maya together are called the Jagat Karanam, the cause of this entire manifest universe. How this particular universe with the Jivas came about. That is what is talked about in the first chapter. Very beautifully written. Where he brings about Ishwara manifesting himself as Jiva. And some of the dialogues there which you find between Shiva and Parvati as Shiva and Shakti. He brings about the concept of Ardha Narishwara in the form of Shiva as Brahma and Parvati or Shakti as Brahman's Shakti and how these two together, how they have been responsible for projecting this entire universe with various Jivas and various objects and the sentient and insentient world together, how they have been able to project this world and what is this world. That is what is talked about in the first chapter. Then comes the second chapter where Bhag Swamiji, sorry, that name Bhagwan itself doesn't matter. I can call our Swamiji Bhagwan. Bhagwan Swamiji I can call because for me and for all of us, Rignanashram Swamiji is Bhagwan. He is Ishwara to all of us. So even if I say Bhagwan, I think there is nothing wrong in saying that. So here in the chapter second, how the Jiva really starts feeling as an individual. Here, a child is born and how when the child is born, the individuality of the child is not there and uh, how over a period of time, the jiva, that is the child, slowly starts getting attached to its own body, mind, sense complex, how the jiva starts acquiring samskaras, how it starts acquiring impressions from the parents, from the surroundings and how the jiva grows up. And how a particular jiva identifies with a particular body-mind sense complex and thinks of itself as an individual, individual, independent jiva. And this specific jiva, which is identifying itself as an individual jiva, Bhagwan Swamiji brings that jiva in the characterization of Bhagwan Shankaracharya. How Shankaracharya was born. He brings about the story. He weaves in here. It is like story within a story. Story within a story. A jiva is born. He says, I was born and I did not know anything. I was moving from Atma state to the jiva state continuously. I did not know who I was. He starts with that and then he goes, weaves the story of Adi Shankaracharya as the jiva. This exalted jiva of Adi Shankaracharya, Swamiji addresses in first person and says, I was that jiva who was born as Shankaracharya. And then all the history of how Adi Shankara was born, who are the parents of Adi Shankaracharya, and what it means to be an avatara. That we know that Adi Shankaracharya is an avatara of Lord Shiva. So what it means to be an avatara of Lord Shiva. How Lord Shiva... took avatara as you know, Shankaracharya and then how Shankaracharya started growing up. That is what he talked about in the second chapter. When we come to the third chapter, in the third chapter there is not much of a tattva, but here there is a growing up in the life story of Shankaracharya comes. Here also, Bhagwan Swamiji addresses Shankaracharya as I as though Shankaracharya, when he talked in the first chapter also, when he talks about Atma and Ishwara, there also he addresses himself as I. That means in that stage itself, the Advaitam is given. I the Atma and I the Jiva. So I am that same Atma, I am that Jiva. That is what even in the first chapter, when Swamiji talks about Atma and Brahman, he addresses as I in the first person. And when this jiva is born, there also Swamiji addresses that jiva as I. And that particular jiva in the form of Shankaracharya, the story is weaved. 
if those people who have not read that book might might find this whatever i'm speaking very difficult to even you know fathom or understand because you know it is a very very curious blend of a you know a remote jiva and an immediate shankaracharya so unless a person has read it you may not find that kind of a familiarity with this but those who have not read it for them this is a kind of an impetus it is a kind of a stimulus for them to read so in the third chapter this jiva this particular individual who is born as shankaracharya is described in the form of i and the growing up of shankaracharya as to how intelligent that child was being the very avatara of lord shiva how all the learning process that had to happen in a human being started happening at such an early stage and how the mother was the first guru to adi shankaracharya because adi shankaracharya is supposed to have lost his father when he was very young very very small when he was a very small child like 2 years or 3 years he is supposed to have lost his father but ultimately it is the mother who brings up adi shankaracharya and you know instills all the samskaras of pujas worship and everything is you know he brings about that growing up period of shankaracharya and the relationship between the mother and the child because the father is no more the mother and the child relationship between you know that is aryamba the mother of shankaracharya and adi shankaracharya what kind of a relationship was there between them and what kind of a wonderful kind of a friendship and a relationship between the mother and child how the child asks various questions and these questions are all relating to the spiritual world to spirituality and how the mother answers all these questions how he ta- starts thinking about death when his father is not there how he starts asking questions to his mother about what death is and where do people go after death what happened to his father what is the meaning of that like any other small child would probably ask a mother about this but the seriousness and also the depth in which shankaracharya asked these questions have been mentioned by swami ji just to show that how at that young age itself adi shankaracharya was actually you know a spiritual prodigy because he was nothing but an avatar see certain details of shankaracharya's life may be mentioned a little differently by swami ji because here it is more like a story we celebrate the birth date of shankaracharya as vaishakha shukla panchami but here uh, our, our swami ji has written it as vaishakha shukla dashami that does not matter because this is a story that we are talking about we are not documenting anything here and at the same time certain details like at the age of 3 years he was sent to gurukulam from the historical view reviews or historical writings of adi shankaracharya some of those things might not have been mentioned by swami ji it does not matter because our swami ji is not writing a biography of shankaracharya bhagwan our our swami ji is writing about himself as a jeeva in the form of adi shankaracharya therefore certain facts or certain you know uh, you know dates and other things they need not matter because it does not really matter at all because swami ji is talking him about himself from the point of view of shankaracharya and talks in first person he does not talk about shankaracharya in the third person and say he shankaracharya he says i and then in the fourth chapter slowly swami ji goes to the upasanas he goes to the upasanas various upasanas he brings about by bringing about upanayanam now shankaracharya undergoes upanayanam at a very young age it is said and then what is the upasana after upanayanam what is meant by upasana what is gayatri upasana what is the meaning of gayatri what is the meaning of upanayanam what is the significant significance of upanayanam and what does the upanayanam give what kind of an adhikara does the upanayanam give to the vatu so the arik adhikaritvam for vaidika karma so what does the upanayanam do it gives this vatu an adhikaritvam to do all the vaidika karmas 
that were done by his father and then you know here the intelligence of shankaracharya has been mentioned in how shankaracharya deals with certain questions which come about you have to read this to understand this because you know he starts already thinking as to what is this world people who have done all these vaidika karmas are they happy are they attaining all that they want to attain all these people who are doing various karmas for attaining something are they really happy where are they going what is this karma phala what is the extent of karma phala is this karma that these people are doing the vaidikas are doing is it really worth it how can i escape from this karma and how can i go into atma vichara all these things what is upasana what is the arhata for upasana gayatri upasana has been taken as upasana here and then he talks about the significance of what upadhanam is and why our elders have brought this particular concept and this particular you know the samskara of upanayanam samskara why they have brought about it and what does it do to a vatu and how it converts you know a prakrita boy to a samskrita sam sam samskrita boy that is a prakrita purusha to a samskrita purusha how it turns and then how at the age of 8 itself normally the upanayan is done at the age of 8 but here in shankaracharya's case it is said it was done much earlier and at that young age what are the samskaras that this gayatri mantra puts into the vatu and how the mind of this vatu is prepared for further whatever has to be done so this whole section of the fourth chapter is based upon the upasanas especially the gayatri upasana then comes the chapter 5 where the viveka and vairagya and the need you know for a guru for shankaracharya starts manifesting i think when i wrote this i felt that this was the time probably swami ji himself would have felt those kind of feelings he would have felt that viveka in the form of ultimately what is this life are we going to simply live this life doing karma experience karma phala and then go come back again live another life in another world or in another situation again repeat this punarapi jananam punarapi maranam is this what is going to be the you know the value or the purpose of life of a human life what is the purpose of human life this questions start coming to adi shankara at a very young age of about you know 5 years and then he gets that vairagya automatically after all shankaracharya is the avatar of lord shiva and how that vairagya manifests in adi shankaracharya at such a young age as though swami ji is talking about himself in this how it manifests at this age and how there is a deep desire for a guru and he goes on telling he goes on telling his mother that you know he wants to go out and find a guru and learn from the guru but by then what has happened is shankaracharya's mother being a widow and growing older and older because shankaracharya is born when they are you know in almost you know in their very late years of their lives so the mother is also getting older and she is not willing to let shankaracharya go out and find a guru for himself to the extent that shankaracharya at that age wants to take sanyasa that is the you know extent of vairagya he wants to take sanyasa he wants to leave the home and go but the mother does not give permission initially and it is said that whenever anybody wants to take sanyasa if it is a brahmachari unless the parents give their you know consent sanyasa is not to be taken in a grahastha if a grahastha wants to take sanyasa he has to take the permission of his wife a grahastha who is a married grahastha to take sanyasa who has to take the permission of the wife and why does bhagwan shankaracharya want to take sanyasa because he feels that he wants to be free from all this vaidika karma and he has to and he wants to concentrate only on jnana marga he wants to find a guru for himself and completely dedicate his life to finding out of who i am 
and this advaita learning and this finding the abheda between jiva and ishvara is the only purpose of shankaracharya's life now and at that age of 4 or 5 years that immense viveka and vairagya that shankaracharya gets he wants to take sanyasa but the mother doesn't permit so that story of where a crocodile holds catches hold of his legs it is more of a drama created by shankaracharya it is said that he created an illusion because shankaracharya we after all you know uh, you know avatara it is said that to make the mother to convince her that see if you don't allow me to become a sanyasi this crocodile is going to literally eat me up it is going to destroy me so if you allow me to become a sanyasi this crocodile is going to give me he says when he has gone to take a bath in the purna river you know he gets caught by a crocodile it's not something that happens by an accident and our swami ji has narrated that incident as though shankaracharya creates that kind of an illusion where the mother has for the sake of the life of the child for the sake of life of shankaracharya the mother ultimately agrees that shankara can take sanyasa and in the sixth chapter we find it is leaving home shankaracharya takes sanyasa leaves home the scene where the child is separated from the mother where the child is going away from the mother is very very touching a very very touching way of the separation of the mother and the son and the son promises whenever you need me you just think of me i will be there by your side he promises the mother and make sure that she is looked after by her relatives and he leaves at the age of 6 or 7 years he becomes a sanyasi leaves the house and goes in search of a guru and of course shankaracharya was born in a place called kaliti but then according to the you know the books on the life of shankara it is said that he goes to the narmada tira and meets his guru govinda bhagavat pada on the banks of narmada river but our swami ji though he because he was there at the time of writing this book he was there in rishikesh on the banks of ganga he has written that shankaracharya travels all the way from kaliti up to the you know the, 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 the on the ganges he comes to the ganges river he comes and in the himalayas on the banks of the ganges river he finds his guru govinda bhagavat bhagavat pada because as i said this is a story weaved and so it doesn't matter some of the facts may not be there exactly as what is given in the biography of shankaracharya here it is not meant to be a biography it is just meant to be talking about the story of a jeeva from the point of shankaracharya and swami ji is talking in first person so leaving home and searching for the guru and what all he goes through in that particular searching for the guru all his thoughts the thoughts that are coming to him all those things are there in the sixth chapter then in the seventh chapter the entire travel from kaliti to the himalayas till he meets his guru all that travel has been there a long distance travel influence of ganga the influence of the forest and the influence of the scenic beauty around that and slowly shankaracharya is turning into an adolescent and what are the feelings of the adolescents and then why you know the system of grahasthashrama the role of grahasthashrama what was it why grahasthashrama was brought about all these as shankaracharya's thoughts he thinks about all of them as his thoughts he thinks about them and that has been told swami ji has put as to what is it you know that an adolescent child goes through and then what is the role of grahasthashrama why our society brought into this grahasthashrama for what purpose it was brought in and then ultimately it is said that exhausted by that journey but supported by mother ganga on one side and supported by the ashirvada of his real mother from kaliti he ultimately reaches the guru and he reaches the guru at a time in the evening at a sandhi time he says bhagwan swami ji says that i reached my guru's cave i could feel that my guru govind bhagavat pada was there sitting in that cave from whatever those divine vibrations that were coming from there i was able to make out that i had reached that particular place of you know where my guru was and it was evening time at the time of sunset and then you know 
he says that the guru finds the shishya coming in and he says sandhya vele ka rakuno tu ya guru ka sodun aila tu kon hai sandhya vele ka hai sandhi kala ka mari what is that sandhi kala you know is it the sandhi or the you know meeting of the day with the night or is it the time of sandhi kala in the life of shankaracharya itself from where from you know that of a sanyasi he has come from a batu he has come from the home and now he is going to become a shishya so a person who has come from his home looking for a guru and surrenders to the shishya has that particular sandhi kala come so he tries he asks certain questions and the guru govinda bhagavat pada talks a few sentences to him and shankaracharya tries to analyze each and word of each and every word of the guru and at that time you know in the next chapter in the eighth chapter he talks about bhagwan shankaracharya's mystical experience when he sees his guru suddenly when he comes in front of his guru and listens to his guru he suddenly loses his body awareness his body awareness becomes as though very very light and he becomes one with the five elements and what that feeling is to see oneself as nothing but this total what kind of a feeling is it that kind of a very very mystical experience he goes through a sense of oneness between himself and the guru a sense of oneness between himself and the whole jagat a sense of oneness between him and ishvara he sees himself as the whole he does not see himself as anything different from the others and that kind of a mystical experience which he goes through has been talked about though it is not there in the you know in the life story of shankaracharya here it is because swami ji is presenting himself as shankaracharya there so it must be swami ji's experience also it is possible that is put that experience in the experience of shankaracharya and that kind of a transition time the time when he has left his home and come and the transition for him to really get this knowledge from the guru and at that time what kind of a feeling he goes through what goes through what kind of a mystical experience he goes through that has also been written then comes the ninth chapter in the ninth chapter the first teachings of the guru have started the relationship between in the ninth chapter we'll find that the relationship between the guru and the shishya that closeness and that oneness that kind of a compassion that the guru has and with what compassion he teaches you know shankaracharya as a shishya and here one more thing is brought about which we are we were we are not very you know uh, very clearly given in the life stories of shankaracharya here swami ji says that before giving him this atma gnanam the teacher govinda Bhag- bhagavat pada has very clearly understood that shankaracharya is a very well prepared student a shishya who is par excellence so before giving him this atma gnana govinda bhagavat pada feels that he should be trained in certain you know aspects of yoga and govinda bhagavat pada's guru gauda pada was both a yogi as well as a brahma gnani therefore first govinda bhagavat pada teaches shankaracharya certain yogic techniques because he knows that in future these yogic techniques will probably be useful for shankaracharya probably that is how shankaracharya could travel the length and breadth of the country on feet literally several times and the length and breadth means north south east west of this entire bharat desha that he could travel and do so many things probably some of this yogic kind of powers would have helped shankaracharya so he says right now govind bhagavat pada teacher which guru says right now what you require is you know to learn some of these yogic techniques and then later on i am going to teach you what is the teachings of the shruti and upanishad and then teaches him what the atma gnana is and in this one small experiment also bhagwan shankaracharya makes in trying to understand what the mind mind reading really. he tries to find out what his guru is thinking about him 
with the same yogic technique. And it is said that Shankaracharya learns this technique so fast. Within a day or two, he has learned all the techniques that are taught. All these things are very, very beautifully picturized by our Swamiji in that book as to how the teaching goes on. Bhai yoga was taught to him. Certain yogic techniques were taught to him. And then how this Atma Jnana, the spiritual knowledge, how it was given to him. All this is talked about here. And, uh, you know, and uh, then in the 10th chapter also here, Guru Govinda Bhagavapada predicts that Shankaracharya has a lot of work to do in future. And also that he has to write so many commentaries on the Prasthanatraya. The Guru knows the role of this Shisha. So he gives out his best and what he thinks of the Shisha and what are the works that are to be done by the Shisha. All these things are very clearly and in detail given in the 10th chapter. And in the 11th chapter, the last chapter, which is available to us here, till which the commentary has been written by me here in this. Meeting with Bhagwan Vyasacharya. That's the very most, most uh, wonderful aspect of it. Bhagwan Vyasacharya, who had written the Brahma Sutras at that time, much earlier Brahma Sutras were written. And at that particular time, at Shankaracharya's time, the meaning of the Brahma Sutras were completely, you know, mistaken and all mistaken versions of Brahma Sutras were taught. And Vyasacharya wanted somebody to rewrite commentaries on these Brahma Sutras so that the correct meaning of what has been written by him is given. And then Vyasacharya appears actually in the Guha of Govinda Bhagavad Pada and how the Guru Govinda Bhagavad Pada calls Shankaracharya to prostrate before Vyasa Muni and the dialogue between Vyasacharya and Shankaracharya is something wonderful. See, because of the lack of time and the book itself having about 181 pages, it is not possible for me to talk about everything that has been, you know, given there. But then the 11th chapter talks about these things where here Bhagwan Vyasacharya's visit to that guha where Shankaracharya's Guru Govind Bhagavad Pada is there and how the Guru calls the Shishya to meet Vyasacharya and how Vyasacharya gives the responsibility of writing a commentary on Brahma Sutras to Bhagwan Shankaracharya. There this work ends. But actually in the printed version we have got you know further also till <clears throat> Shankaracharya then how he goes to Badri Kashrama where you know he writes the Prasthanatraya for all Prasthanatraya Bhashas for Bhagavad Gita, for all the Upanishads and other things, how he goes to Varanasi and you know how that particular Manisha Panchakam comes about. All those things are there, but we don't have the manuscript for that, all that. Therefore, our Sajoja Chankarashram Swamiji, Pujya Swamiji did not want me to write anything for which there is no definite manuscript from Swamiji, from the original writing. Therefore, here with the 11th chapter, the meeting of Shankaracharya with Bhagwan Vyasacharya. That is where, where he gets the responsibility of writing <clears throat> the commentary for Brahma Sutra. There, this particular manuscript of Pujjapal Jinnanasham Swamiji ends. We don't have the further manuscripts. Therefore, we have stopped the commentary also there. And in this commentary, a lot of, you know, Vedantic truths have been talked about by our Swamiji. And to the best of my ability, I have tried to simplify and give notes on that. Or the Vedantic aspects dealt by Parampuja Parinyanasham Swamiji, I have tried to deal with, give the, give the simple meanings and analyze those Vedantic truths and give very, very simple meanings and try to explain and give explanatory notes on those Vedantic you know, truths that have been given. And uh, on this particular day, on the 75th Janma Dinotsav of our Parijnana Sham Swamiji, I feel it is a great pleasure for me and I feel blessed that I was able to write this particular commentary on such a wonderful Prakarana Grantha and also after seven years, I wrote it in 2015 and after seven years, I am still able to review this and literally coax 
the people who are listening here to go to the ebook section of our you know chitrapur math website and please try to read this book this is the only way we can show our reverence to our swami ji who has given such a wonderful book to our community with this i will complete this particular review of the book i have not been able to give every detail because there are so many details i don't know which one to take and which one to leave there are hundreds of beautiful things therefore chapter by chapter i have tried to just give a a, a, a kind of an outline of various chapters so that it gives some kind of a stimulus for people to go through and read it and enjoy that book amchi you know version is also very beautiful very very beautiful and i have tried to capture it to the best of my ability the same bhavanas that have been written in amchi konkani language i have tried to put them in english and then it is for the readers to make out to understand what it is om nandan tu sadhaka sarve vinashyantu vidushakaha avastha shambhavi mesu prasanno suguru sada sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramayah sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchit dukham apnuyat om shanti 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 om tat sat thank you very much sudha pachi hanga pratyaksh yevnutika yemcha gzaini tasal miti ha ami recorded version dakhela it was so beautiful आमका हाँ आम्मी हा पुस्तक विषयान तो आपको मस्त महति मेली सुमार जान वाचन असो फाव आसो जैसे वाचन आती अवश्य वाचका आमगे वेबसाइटार ई बुक सेक्शन आस तू तुमको पुस्तक मेलते तीन पाचेन मेले मन के प्रत्येक भानपान वाच्य सारे स है बुक परिज्ञान आश्रम से हमें गेल अनुग्रह चेरी आम अवश्य वाचका मूँ नम्र विनंती आत हा कार्यक्रम हंगा पूर्ण जता पर मेया चार घंटरी गुरुम वंदे गुरुम वंदे हो कार्यक्रम आमगे युवाज आ प्रस्तु युवाज प्रस्तुत करता सती समाजान तो चित्रापुर सारस्वत समाजान तो जे प्रख्यात हिंदुस्थानी क्लासिकल म्युजिकान तू जे म्युजिशन्स आशि तंगल विषयान तू ती एक दोन तासाच कार्यक्रम कर सती प्रति दिवस तीन दिवस आजी फाई आ परा चार घंटरी तंगल तो कार्यक्रम आसतलो आलतेतानी जालते मठाक कित मस्तशिमगे समाजान तू गायन गा गायन मंडल आद्य वाद्यान तू प्राविण्य मे मेन घ तंगल विषयान तू थोड़ थोड़ क्लिप्स दाखो न तंगल विषयान तू थोड़े प्रस्तुत करता सती अवश्य तुम्हें सर्वानी हाँ तू भाग घेऊंका मूँ नम्र विनंती मगर तीच सांज साढ़े स घंटरी आनी एक क्लासिकल म्युजिक कार्यक्रम आसतलो सुषुमना शुक्ला हि ग कार्यक्रम आसा तंत सहभाग घूम नम्र विनंती धन्यवाद नमो पार्वती